me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on, YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks. And in Indianapolis, it's a small sneaker boutique called Sneakerheads. I'm gonna go ahead and check it out and do a little vlog of it. So as always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Also comment down below what's the best shoe you seen in this video. And if you ever visited the store, comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. Now enough talking, let's get into this vlog. This whole area uh, had like Yeezys right here, but the owner went to the sneaker event today and he took them all, so that's why this uh, area bare. So like this area is the uh, custom area. I forgot the name of this model shoe. Nice little Easter type custom over here. And they got some nice little vans, some nice dunks. Oh, actually, these, no, these not customs. These play clothes, I didn't know they did a uh, custom. I don't know, this, this could be a custom, I don't know man, let me know in the comments if it's custom. I never heard of play clothes doing the dunk, but this look like almost like legit real. Got the Gucci Vans, and got a Carl's Vans as well. Got the um, Reebok Shack Attack Superman Editions, like a 9 out of 10 for 130 That's not a bad price for those. I gotta get, I gotta get my size in these one day, but I need them for the right price. I don't know if this is the original Laser Dub Zero that came out a couple years ago, but I remember like when they f these like shoes first came out, everybody had a pair of them. Had their like chrome in the back. It could be these or they like retro them, but overall, man, this is definitely a decent shoe. This is like a seven out of ten for seventy five. Not bad. Got the Air Jordan two thousand tens for seventy five, size twelve. These kind of beat like six, seven out of ten. It's not bad if you want to get a retro shoe for the low. Got these Nike Zoom Streaks, uh, the Supreme version. Want 175 for them? I like these probably. Oh, these like DS. They got they ain't, the price is not bad on these. But they got these Call Fours. I want to know how much they want. They want 1300 for a size 11 and a half. That's crazy. But definitely a nice shoe. Got the nice quality. What they want for this uh, pony hair? Definitely not a fan of the pony hair fours, but. It's not a bad price for them. Want six seventy five for this uh, off white hyper dunk? What size is this? They don't tell you, but I would get it. I always wanted this shoe, but this never came in my size. How much they want for this? Uh, turn this around. They want two seventy for it. I guess the resale went crazy, but I remember when this came out. I wanted this color. They had this, and they also had a pink and gray color. They didn't come in my size. They got the um, Air Max Para ones. Well, they want 450, 11 and a half. This is damn near my size too. But I'm so mad I missed out on this shoe. Not a bad shoe at all. People sleep on this Vapor Max, the uh, Black History Month joint. This was a real cold shoe. A lot of people slept on this. I wish I could have got this for the low. I like the um, the also with the green, black, and white. 250 that's not too bad for him kd7 gold medals classic shoe i still need to get my size in this man i had bought a shoe i had got this but i had got this in my old true to size and these fit way small 
I had to should have went a whole size up, so I had to sell this. You don't see these every day. The uh, KD6 peanut butter and jelly joints, pretty smooth right here. I remember these came out. I, I didn't need to switch up the laces on this though. Got the KD5 lows. When the last time you seen a KD5 low? That's crazy. Got this for what? 125. Not bad. They got the Kobe 4 Pro Tros. Oh, fade the blacks. My bad. Size 11, 375, that's not bad. I can't wait till they start uh, retro on these. I need these. I always like the fours, like that's the best Kobe in my opinion. Got the rose gold um, LeBron 15s for 350, size 12, that's not a bad price. And it's my size too. Not bad at all. They got the LeBron 7 Chinas, classic uh, model for what? 600? Pretty high in my opinion. I got a couple of throwback old school LeBron. Got the Air Force One. Um, I want to say this is fly leather. It's not like regular leather. Um, the Super Bowl version. Um, it's like a couple years ago because they currently got five ships, but such a clean shoe. What they want for it? Two twenty five. It's not bad. All right, man. Back in the car. And overall, it was a nice, quaint sneaker boutique. Definitely had decent prices, and they had the old LeBrons. I'm really a fan of the older LeBrons. Hopefully, they can start like retroing a lot of them, so I don't have to like go to like sneaker boutiques and sneaker like Kosami shops so I can get a pair. But overall, man, just like the aesthetic of the store, the people in the store was pretty cool. Like they was very helpful, and you know, we just chopped it up about shoes for about like 20 to 30 minutes. So. Overall, man, definitely a great spot. If you're ever in Indianapolis, go ahead and check it out, Sneakerheads. But as always, hit that thumbs up. Comment down below what's the best shoe you see in this video. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. Also, if you ever visited Sneakerheads in Indianapolis, go ahead and put that down in the comment section and we can chop it up about it. And lastly, peace.